Well, lonesome George Goebel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming from my lips, I know this is going to shock you, but uh, how's your drink? Well, oh, mercy, mercy, Dean, you do fix a pretty zippy Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking? A Twiggy. <laughs> Say, that must be smooth. <laughs> yeah. It was a Sophia Loren before the ice cubes melted. <laughs> now it looks like a two-arm. Yeah. Starting early tonight. <laughs> Beautiful night, isn't it? Oh, it's so quiet I can hear my shorts wrinkling. <laughs> was that your shorts? <laughs> You know, for a minute there, I thought my fruit of the looms were going to seed. <laughs> Dean, hmm? there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Well, go ahead, pal. Let's get it way out in the open there. Well, for openers, this is plain water, and I don't like it. <laughs> That is plain water, eh? Oh, this is terrible. You know, there's, uh, there's been an awful lot of fuss lately about a song here. Yeah, and why do they put the hedge in mine? Uh, <laughs> uh, about a song. Huh? About a song. Now, what this is, Dean, it's a... It, actually, it's not a song, it's an ode, you know. An ode, ode? and it's about an ode to Billy Joe, and he's a guy who jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. And it's a very deep mystery, but you are looking at the fellow that's got it solved. You figured it out? <laughs> Look, I didn't come all the way down here to tell you a lot of big lies. If I say I got it figured out, I got it figured out. Now, I know you, you're looking at me incredulous, like. You look incredulous. <laughs> no. I'm looking at you in men BC, that's right. <laughs> Let's put it this way, it's incredulous the way you look. Just get on with the song, will you, George? Because I may not be back this way. Oh. <laughs> you have a very poor attitude. <laughs> it was the 3rd of June, another sleepy, dusty Delta day. I was out of chopping cotton and my brother was a bailing hay. Your feet. Doesn't that start you to thinking a little bit, Dean? Yeah, I'm thinking about getting you some singing lessons. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, come on now. I mean, if you're out chopping cotton and your brother's baling hay, now it just kind of stands to reason that you're on a farm, right? Okay. And if you're on a farm, on the way back to the house to eat, you're going to be walking through the cow area and the horse area and the pig area and the chicken areas, right? Uh-huh. Well, after you've walked through all of those areas, you don't need an old lady hollering at you to wipe your feet. It's okay for the old lady. She wears high heels. <laughs> you know, I know what they threw off. You want me to tell you? Boy, I sure, in heaven's name, would... I'd like to... Please tell me, What? Didn't they tell me? Well, you don't have to get down on your knees. I'm going to come down. You know what? Just lean over here, man. This is between you and me, sir. <laughs> You're kidding! Was he there? Oh, I'm going to tell the folks about... Ladies and gentlemen... Hold! Hold! LB, you and Harry Truman have got a couple of broken mops tonight. Ooh, 
electric, huh? I want you to know that as long as you're going to tell on me, that I'm going to tell it myself. And I've got to confess, ladies and gentlemen, I am the one that they threw off of the Tallahatchie Bridge. <laughs> and I beg that little Billy Joe and Anna Mae Wong to tell me, <laughs> to pick me up and throw me off. And they threw me off the Tallahatchie Bridge. Why? Because I'm in training. Oh. Because the For first... For what? Take your time. But don't you want to read one of them lines? Say something. <laughs> Say something, Harry. Let's me... Let's recapitulate. Why? that I was thrown off the Tallahatchie Bridge. I heard that. Why Be are you in training? Don't rush me. <laughs> How long do you have to wear that? I, Six more weeks? I beg you not. <laughs> you beg what? Do you fellas win those hats? <laughs> A turkey shoot. I begged them to throw me off the Tallahatchie Bridge. You want to know why? Yeah. I'm in training. Yeah. Because well, the first of next month, I am going off of Niagara Falls in a box. Oh, <laughs>